I think I downplay this dude quite a bit when I'm in my power rankings video, so I'd like to apologize for that. This is a very talented player and a top rookie main support heading into the next season, having a very successful time in contenders for the most part. How does he stack up to the other rookies? Can he be top tier now? Well, let's find out. Unique got a start on Frucia Gaming, where he was a semifinalist in Open Division 2018 Season 1, only to get stomped out of trials and do poorly in Open Division after changing his team to GC Busan Lucia. However, his play impressed Element Mystic of all teams enough to pick him up and be the starting main to support. And he saw pretty much nothing but success through 2019. While he was a runner-up in Contenders 2018 Season 3, him and Element Mystic won Season 1 and the Pacific Showdown pretty handily, and came back to win the Gauntlet and 90x Tournament after falling to Runaway yet again in Season 2. And Unique was pretty cracked here. He competed with the likes of Lee Gon and Funny Astro consistently, and his Mercy allowed Sparkles Fair especially to sign very much, and had some clutch rushes. His Lucio was very nice to watch as well, coordinating quite well with Alpha and Hanbin during GOATS. And just in general, he was a smart player. He knows how to position himself to counter EMPs, and rarely dies or feeds. Unfortunately, he was let go after most of the roster was picked up by Paris, and he was left in contender due to age, where he went to Team Diamond. Unfortunately for him, Team Diamond was not very good. While he did win Open Division with them, they were consistently the back foot to the bigger teams of 2020, and he was considered worse than the new guards such as Chorong, Chio, Pulis, even Neko and Faith, though he wasn't bad per se. This did kill a lot of his hype going into his coming of age though, and mixed with the fact that a lot of people just assumed Fuel would pick him up, though they wound up going with Jexay, he would end up going to T1, the Fusion's Academy team, for another year. And he did manage to impress. While he never stood out, he was quietly the third or fourth best main support in all of contenders, behind Shio, Shorong, and arguably Vindame. I do think he and all T1 players are pretty underrated, though. They could very well have gone to a grand finals over Talon, as they beat Talon 3-1, to who would later have a crazy close series with O2 Blast, if not for the forfeit. Overall, I think Unique is very good. He has been overshown these past two years, but he definitely has potential to be a top rookie prospect coming to the next year if he can rekindle his 2019 brilliance. But the one other thing that worries me about him is that his Brig never really impressed me the same way as Lucio and Mercy did. He was very clearly behind Geo, Vindame, and Chorong's Brig, and he was slow with his ult charge, and he died first a lot. And I think that could be concerning going into Overwatch 2, where Brig seems to be just as strong as she was in Overwatch 1. I would say he's an upgrade over Mandu, and I think the Charge have a very strong support lineup here. Definitely an upgrade over before. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe for more. I upload nearly daily Overwatch League content, and I'm trying to hit 1,000 subs going in before the end of Season 5, so any subscription helps greatly. Thanks.